for the last 10 years I've been doing research out here on these reef sharks. We're trying to track the sharks, not by feeding them, but by using a crate of food to attract them by the sense of smell. And then we tail rope the animals, swim them up to the undersea explorer, where we can do all the measurements and track their growth. We've been using a range of electronic devices over the years to work out exactly what these animals are doing for a living. What we've found is that the white tips, they only have a home range of about one nautical mile. Whereas the grey reef sharks, the more mobile ones behind me, their home range is about 10 nautical miles. The white tip will spend its entire day sleeping on the sea floor. At night time, as soon as the sun sets, the shark goes up hunting. And they'll hunt anywhere from the surface down as deep as 80 metres. The white tip, because it can sit motionless on the sea floor, it can sit there for hours pumping water across its gills. And because it can do that, it can actually swim into caves and under ledges at night time and eat sleeping fish. Mad keen divers coming to Queensland aren't coming to the Barrier Reef. They're actually coming out here to the Coral Sea. And the number one thing they're out here to see are the sharks. So if you consider that every live shark out here is worth a couple of hundred thousand dollars each year, whereas if it was dead, maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars max, it makes perfect economic sense for the whole Queensland economy to keep these animals alive. Because Osprey Reef here is one of the last places in the world where you can simply hop in the water and be surrounded by sharks like these.